We planted a climbing yellow rose last year, and now that it's had the past two seasons to root itself in, this spring we decided to train up our new fencing. It's getting blown around in the wind, which roses really don't appreciate. Strong winds can shake roses from the soil and extreme weather can even kill the plant. In this video, I'm going to create a simple fan-shaped support in the hope it inspires you to be creative with the shape of your climbing roses. Climbing roses don't have any way of grabbing or climbing naturally, therefore they need to be trained. Training is simply providing a plant with a structure in which to climb up, and pruning it in such a way that encourages growth which complements the desired shape. Or in other words, if you want the rose to look like a fan, build a fan and prune it into a fan shape. I've said fan way too much. The rose will be surrounded by some large delphiniums and hollyhocks, so we want to elevate the rose above those, rather than grow horizontally along the fence where the flowers will be hidden and shaded from the sun. The first step was to loop some twine around the fence post. This would act as an anchor for our vertical lengths. Our rose already had six main shoots, so we decided on three vertical supports on either side of the fence post for some pleasing symmetry. For each side of the fence post we cut three lengths of twine, we tied the bottom of each length to the anchor, and then to the trellis at the top of the fence, spaced evenly apart. Cutting short lengths of twine, we then tied the three shoots to their respective vertical support. Some of the shoots were longer and maturer than others, so needed a couple of ties along its length to secure it properly. I then did the same on the opposite side. I'm really happy with the results, and now that the hard work is done, it's simply a case of continuing to tie the shoots to the supports as they grow. The rose is nicely secure and is now much less likely to be damaged even in the strongest of winds. Elevating the plant also means it won't struggle to find or compete for the sun, which means it will grow a little quicker. Creating the supports and the shape of the plant is also much easier to do while it's still young. Thank you for watching this short video. If you have any advice or tips, please comment below so we can all learn and grow together.